Hi there, Ian here, and today I have another Cinema 4D tutorial for you all. This is about an effect that I've used in several intros now, and several people have asked me how to do the effect. I don't actually know the name of it, so I'll just show you in one of my files here. As you can see, as the logo comes along, it sort of builds itself and appears. The text does it as well, it has kind of two layers and they kind of merge on top of one another and it looks really cool um, I always use two layers rather than anything more like five or six just because A it gets a bit complicated and it would just be hard to time everything well and so to do this what you need is a kind of path of the image that you want so I'm just gonna steal this and just make a new file and so as you can see I'll just center this here as you can see we have a simple outline of a shape at the moment it doesn't look like anything because it hasn't been extruded but what we want to do is insert go to the spline section and insert a rectangle and with this just make sure it can cover the entire object within it and go um, into the array tab here and spline mask and now make sure the mode is A subtract B now insert the spline followed by the rectangle and as you can see it disappears and if we move the rectangle over you can see it starts to appear now if we put in an extrude nerves and drag the spline mask in as you can see as the object goes over the text or image appears now we'll just make it a little bit more fancy with whatever you like so just put this to however you want it and then what you want to do is simply grab this rectangle and then put it over so nothing's appearing then make a keyframe on the rectangle um, at zero and then drag it to wherever you want I'll just do 60 pull it so everything's revealed and make another keyframe and as you can see as we play through the timeline everything starts to appear now to make the one in the middle uh, I'm just going to make this a bit deeper all we want to do is duplicate it and I'm just going to put the caps up a bit more and so that kind of makes it a bit bigger all over uh, a bit bulkier and then we grab this rectangle and highlight these two ooh, highlight these two keyframes and just drag them apart like that and then as you play through uh, also, uh, quickly, you want to make the movement a bit bigger, so I'm going to put it up to 50 and go into the top view and just drag it over a bit more, just so it's a bit bulkier that way as well. And as you can see now, we kind of have these two layers here, which if we make one white and another one red, is very clear now we'll just put a little box in and as you can see we have this cool kind of building itself uh, layer by layer uh, different textures everything looks quite cool um, it's a fun effect to do and definitely something that can be involved in many things this is just one instance uh, I'll show you the actual final intro for uh, the one I made for force as you can see um, I didn't really mean to have the sound there but as you can see the 
intro kind of flies in, it builds itself, and then there's a text appears, and that builds itself as well. Uh, it's a really cool effect, it's quite a cool reveal effect. Uh, it doesn't have to just be for this, you can use it in many uh, circumstances. Anytime you use splines really, you can use this. Um, as you can see, if I make a new project, I can literally drag in a flower and a cogwheel and then just you can also change these so I'm just going to drag these two into it and straight away you get these really cool effects which you can play about with all you want um, you can make whatever shapes you like really um, it's really cool um, and so yeah that's how I did my effect in uh, that particular intro uh, I really hope it's been helpful if you didn't know how to do this before and just experiment with it, post it as a video response if you want, I'll check it out, if I like it I'll probably tweet it out or whatever, get a few more views and so yeah, if you've enjoyed this video please just give it a like, hopefully we can get 50 on this tutorial maybe, if you guys actually click like. Uh, that would be amazing, um, it's always nice when you achieve a goal, so yeah, please just like this video, leave a comment below, tweet it out, share it around, all that, and just make sure you subscribe and you'll see plenty more content from me in the future. Thanks for watching the video, this has been Ian, and I'll see you soon.